What's up guys, this is Ashish Tiwai here and you are watching Techno Tips jQuery tutorial. So this is part 11 of this video series. In this video, I'll be discussing about the jQuery traversing, especially the child element traversal methods. Okay, so before proceeding with this video, you can watch my previous tutorial that is part 10 of this video series. In that video, I have just covered the parent element traversal methods. So here we have seen all three methods. So parent element traversal, I already have covered in previous tutorial and now this is time to discuss about the child element traversal method so here we have two methods children and find methods okay so let's get started so in the previous tutorial we have just discussed about the parent element traversal so let's have the view of it so this is the example of parent parents until methods so if you want to see this example then you can watch my previous tutorial okay now let's start with the child element traversal so here in this tutorial we will discuss a uh, uh, discuss two method so the first is let's delete not delete let's delete this code okay so here we will discuss two method first is children and second is find okay so let's discuss about first method that is children okay so I'm just using this children so first of all I just need to select a parent element so let's say ancestor so I have just selected this using dot okay by class class name I'm just selecting this and then children okay and just remove this and let's refresh this so here you will see the ancestor see this ancestor has this div class and this is the direct children of this div element okay so that's why the diff uh, the great grandparent has got selected and uh, got red and uh, red color okay now let's talk about the different example let's copy that and paste here okay. let's remove here now get the paragraph let's say para graph one let's copy that paste paste and let's create a span let's say span one okay so this is also uh, uh, consisting the ancestor class and it will also get uh, some border here let's refresh this page okay so here ancestor class and we are just selecting all the children okay so this children will be uh, must must select the direct children okay so this div has direct children this div one okay so here you can see direct children or direct child of ancestor okay and here will be uh, this on order list will be the grandchild okay let's say grandchild and this will be the great grandchild refresh this okay so direct child has got the border not this grandchild or great grandchild okay so this method is used to select that child or direct child okay let's let me f pass some attribute here okay so I'm just passing the paragraph paragraph element selector 
okay so let's see it will select only the paragraph element okay so it will just select all the insist which uh, all the selector which consists the class insistor and has child consisting the paragraph okay so here you can see the ancestor children and we are just filtering by paragraph so all the paragraph will be selected and let's suppose if I just pass a span here then only span child only the ancestor uh, the div with ancestor class must have the direct child and I'm just filtering out the span one okay so a span as a child will be selected here okay and see this 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 is uh, the great grandchild you can see so this has not been selected okay so you can just conclude that the it just work for the children method just work for only one level means that child should be the direct child you can apply any filter here okay and let's say if you just filter by div refresh it so here you will direct child of ancestor so that div is selected okay and let's talk about the second method that is find okay so find is the best method it just it can just uh, uh, just go through all the descendant element okay and can filter this fine let's try this find this find any child okay and yeah, let's reload it okay so nothing gonna work so inside that you just need to pass a parameter find let's say inside that just pass lim selector name that is paragraph and here it will select paragraph and if you uh, just put a span here and then all the span will be selected see in the div 2 we have span and here also you can see it just goes to the uh, depth and just select that a vast virus database has been updated okay so now let's let's try some different example li okay find li so it will just select that child which uh, we have just filtered out the L, L list element okay and uh, if I just pass the C class name let's say I just give class to this paragraph class name let's say para1 okay let's copy that and here I'll just pass it dot param okay so para1 has been selected okay so the paragraph which consisting the class para1 has been selected the third one okay so in this way you can use the ch children and find method okay so re one thing you, you should remember that the children method will work for all the direct child and the find method is used for any 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 descendant child okay so it can select any descendant child great grandchild or grandchild or direct child anything okay so this was the uh, this was the basic tutorial for the children traversing methods okay so I hope it's clear to you and uh, we will see in the next uh, in the next tutorial we will discuss about this uh, sibling element traversal and I hope 
these two method has been clear to you and thank you very much for watching if you like it then give a thumbs up and don't forget to share this video among your friend and have a great day